A few books are all that remains of the school in Comasagua, a town near the capital of El Salvador. A few days before this was filmed, a torrential rainfall triggered a landslide that destroyed the building. It's the only school in the area, and it's now in ruins. Many homes across El Salvador have been destroyed by mudslides. More than 100 people died during the last rainy season. I'm afraid it will keep getting worse. We probably can't stay here. We'll have to move. If it starts raining again, we'll have to leave right away. People here believe they're feeling the impact of climate change. The government hopes clean geothermal energy will help counter its effects. Here in the municipality of Berlin, is one of the two main plants producing geothermal energy. Power generated from underground volcanic steam now covers a quarter of El Salvador's electricity needs. Rainer Schröer from the German Association for International Cooperation is helping to make even more efficient use of this energy. He meets with Oscar Salvador Valle, the manager of the Lajeo geothermal plant. One of the plant's wells is 2,600 meters deep, and the other goes down 1,100 meters. The plant generates a large part of the country's energy. But it could produce even more. Steam escaping from the plant's turbines is now being wasted. The engineer is looking for ways to capture it. Drilling new wells would also increase capacity. But drilling is very capital intensive. Schröer is helping Lajeo find a company that can drill more cheaply. We have these two plants now, but we're planning more. Right now, we're checking out two additional drilling fields. Then we have four fields in all. We want to increase our market share. Now we're covering a quarter of the market, but we want to expand. The resources are available, so we'll definitely build more. So now we're examining two additional fields. Volcanic hot springs are common in seismically active El Salvador. In some villages, families even wash their clothes in the hot water. Even though the water smells of sulfur, it's very useful. Washing is much faster. And because the water is so hot, we don't have to use much soap. Just a short distance away, the hot springs are even more impressive. Here at the foot of the Tecapa volcano, hot water is bubbling to the surface. Geothermal power could potentially supply all of the country's energy needs, sustainably, with no increase in CO2 emissions. There are 22 active volcanoes in El Salvador. But only a small fraction of that volcanic energy is currently being harnessed. A few businesses in El Salvador are beginning to benefit from geothermal energy. This nursery is planning to move some of its greenhouses near a geothermal plant. That will allow them to use the cheaper electricity. They held talks with the plant's operator. Hi, Rainer. How are you? How's it? Good. How's it? How's it? We have to negotiate with them. They offered a very special price for us. It's yes. green electricity. It's yeah. from the geothermal plant. So we don't have to worry about any 
CO2 emissions. And CO2 emissions. It's, okay. uh, it's uh, green energy for electricity and also the heat energy for the, your, your plants. Our electricity bill is about 40,000 US dollars per month. This, en this electricity is mainly used for ventilators, for pumps, for cooling systems. And in heating we spend about 400,000 dollars on oil per year. We will definitely save money, but it's also important for us to produce in a, in a cleaner and a more sustainable way. It's not only about money. They also hope to be a role model for other companies in the region. Hot springs are abundant in Central America, and that means there's an abundance of green energy, just waiting for someone to tap into it. <laughs>